Dame, who uh, are you picking to win the NBA Finals to lift up the Larry O'Brien Trophy? Okay, <clears throat> let me walk. Let me walk everybody through this one. All right, this is this is what I'm. This is what's going through my mind, right? Because honestly, honestly, this whole episode I've been thinking about who I'm picking. I've been thinking about who I'm picking. Me since, too. Me too. Since, since the man, I've been hoping you was gonna say something to convince me because this has been a hard thing. <laughs> so, all right. Basically, from the Celtic side of it, right? Sixty. No, no, man. No, I'll start. From, no, yeah, Celtic side. Celtic side. So, sixty plus one team, right? I would say it's safe to say they have the better overall roster. If we're just talking about starting Fair. five, yeah. you know, better overall roster, things like that. They have two stars. Um, defensively, they match up well. I feel like as far as perimeter defenders they have, as far as just a team defense, I feel like they're obviously a great defensive team. Um, yeah, they like they they've been playing so well all year. They haven't really had any hiccups. They've been handling business. Um, they've been beating good teams throughout the regular season, coming to the playoffs. Obviously, haven't had any any hiccups or anything like that. They've been here before. Um, I feel like Tatum is a guy that will have something to prove. I just, having a stinker in the last finals. Um, Jalen Brown's playing well. I just think overall it's good vibes with the Celtics right now. Um, even though obviously the Pacers series, it was just people felt like they had a little bit of struggle, but in reality, they swept them at the end of the day. The Mavericks, on the other hand, they have the best player in the series. Like it's it's some people would say they got the best two. I wouldn't say that, but I some wouldn't either, say, but I've heard people say it. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people say that too. Um, like you can definitely say, and I might go along with this, they have the two best closers in the series. Like, said oh, 100%. Before. I think they do have that. And I think, like, the Celtics can't do, at least from my opinion, they can win multiple ways. They can win games where they're not hitting 100 threes a game. Yeah. They can get to the basket. They can win games in the mid range. They could hit a bunch of threes. They can win games multiple different ways. And like I said, I'll say it a second time because this is a big emphasis. They have the best player in the whole series. Potentially, if you win this game, if win the series, the best player in the world. Oh, that combo is going to be nasty. I can't. It wait. is. So, with that being said, the only the differences, or no, with that being said, I feel like <laughs> the Celtics should win this series. Like, if the Celtics don't win, they have no excuse, in my opinion. I feel like they have no reason to not win this series when it comes down to it i'm going with the mavs and seven man i'm going with the mavs and seven i just uh, i the main reason why and i and mind you i really wanted to pick the celtics i really did i think it's going to be close if the celtics win i would not be surprised in the slightest bit honestly if the celtics win it could be viewed as like bro they were right there the whole time. Like they won 60 games. They done beat everybody. Like, duh. Like it could be viewed as like, yeah, stupid for not thinking the Celtics is gonna win. But when it comes down to it, man, even though they did pull out those Pacers series as a whole, not just that series, the Celtics late game struggles have been a little bit questionable. It's just as mm-hmm. far as your trust factor in them and in Tatum in those like crucial moments against really, really good teams. Um, I still think that they're bound to probably give one game away or at least just have one questionable type of game. And in an uh, NBA Finals against Luka and the Mavs, that could be enough to lose you a series. Um, I hope this doesn't happen. I truly hope this doesn't happen. I think Tatum has at least one stinker because that's just kind of what he does. So it's like it's certain things that I feel like – it honestly, me picking the Mavs is more of just like a gut – feeling against the Celtics a little bit because if the yeah. Celtics or any other team I would be picking them because I feel like they should win this series and then it also it comes down to Mavs like I said have the two best closers and at the end of the day there's not a lot of times where the teams even if you think the Celtics have a, a better roster obviously it's not a huge talent discrepancy between the two obviously they're both in the finals in that situation where it's like even if it's like here and here it's hard to pick against the best player in the series who is a all-time already playoff performer. So yes. second most PPG in playoffs ever. It's just I <laughs> only behind MJ, bro. It's nuts. Yeah, bro, I just I don't it's it'll be so hard for me to pick against Luca with Kyrie with him, a good defense. And a good overall supporting cast. Like I, it's, I can't. It's hard for me to pick against that. Yep. So for me personally, 
I think the Mavs win in seven. I think game seven is going to be a historic game. I think Luka goes off in a game seven. Um, I don't think they blow him up by 40, like you've been doing with the Suns and Tim was not like that. But I think if there's anyone who I can trust in a game seven on the road in Boston, I think it'd be Luka Doncic. I think he went finals MVP. And then, man, I think them legacy talks is going to be – it's, it's going to be insane. So I, I'm going with the Mavs here in seven. 